Something big is happening in the open source AI world. For the first time in years, building a chat GPT style model isn't locked behind billion dollar infrastructure walls. Andre Karpathi, OpenAI co-founder and founder of Eureka Labs, has quietly dropped NanoChat, a minimal full stack implementation of a chat GPT clone in just, wait for it, 8,000 lines of code. Not because he wants to build another chatbot, but because he wants you to. In his words, this is what he says. You boot up a cloud GPU box, run a single script, and in four hours, you can talk to your own LLM. End quote. It's actually a polite way of saying the moat is gone. Here's what makes NanoChat different. Unlike Karpathi's earlier NanoGPT project, which actually focused on pre-training, NanoChat covers the full stack, from tokenizer to inference, tokenizing, tokenizer training in Rust pre-training, a transformer on fine web, mid-training on dialogue, and MCQ supervised fine-tuning, SFT, optional RL with GRPO, efficient inference with KV caching for, well, $100 on an 8 into 100 H100 node. You get a basic assistant in 4 hours, train longer, 12 hours, and it beats GPT-2 core. Push it to 42 hours, well, and it starts solving coding problems, math, and MCQs. What was once a billion dollar R&D process has actually now been reduced to a weekend project for anyone with a GPU. The reaction has been immediate. On Reddit and X, builders are calling NanoChat, well, the TensorFlow moment for LLMs, end quote, for years, training your own assistant meant well wrestling with obscure tool chains, scattered repos, and astronomical costs. Karpathi just put it all into one clean, hackable, forkable pipeline. It's not about competing with GPT-4. It's about lowering the barrier for the next thousand GPT-4 challengers. For months, Karpathi has been repeating a very simple thesis. AI is not electricity, it's a new operating system, end quote. In this new operating system, the model is the CPU. The context window is RAM. Tools are drivers. The chat interface is your terminal. NanoChat is his way of actually handing that operating system to the world. A starter kit for the next generation of builders. This launch isn't about scale, it's about access. Instead of waiting on closed APIs or corporate infrastructure, students, hackers, and startups can now, well, do this. Train their own models, experiment with the entire pipeline, build AI products end-to-end, -end, fork and innovate freely. The GPU shortage may slow the giants, but this kind of open source release accelerates everyone else. This isn't the, this isn't, this isn't the most powerful model in the world. And honestly, it's not meant to be. This is a teaching moment, like learning to build a website in the 90s, a small hackable baseline that sparks entire ecosystems. And in AI revolutions, don't start at scale. They actually start with people who can build without permission. So finally, Andre Karpathi isn't just releasing a repo. He's actually rewriting who gets to build AI. The big labs may have the biggest models, but the future will be built in small rooms with minimal code bases and a lot of imagination. The open source playbook for building ChatGPT is here and looks like OpenAI isn't the only player now building AI OS anymore. Check out the model in the link below, please. And NanoChat is what we say. When the walls are high, someone builds a door. End quote. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below and how this new development makes you feel. Well, with that, it's time to say goodnight from Front Page on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. Front Page is powered by MachineCon 2025, an invite-only residential summit for GCC heads, exclusively brought to you by, well, yes, you guessed it, AIM Network. So till we meet again, as we say always, think AI 
Thank you, I am.